Welcome back, my friends, to our Sunrise Safari. All month long, we are working with organi organizations just like the Butterfly Pavilion to feature some really cool creatures and the work that goes on behind the scenes to care for them. And ooh, this morning making us tingle already. Jordan has the heebie-jeebies, let me <laughs> tell you. Joining us this morning is Sharon Hershkovitz with the Butterfly Pavilion. Thank you so much for coming in. You brought in a giant desert centipede. We promise the little guy is in here. Tell us a little bit more about the centipede. So just something to wake you up in the morning. We have brought a centipede with us today. They have very many legs and they are quite venomous animals. It makes them very vivacious <laughs> and they too are looking for love. <laughs> so at Butterfly Pavilion, we are celebrating romance this wild this entire month. So come and learn about what makes animals a little bit less, a little bit more special. You have a scary. smile now on your face as you're saying yeah, earlier, it was more like, you know, there should have been a flashlight under you <laughs> when you were describing it. So right now the centipede is hiding underneath all of this in the box. And honestly, I think given what you've described, it's better that way. Tell our friends at home what you were just telling us. So centipedes are very fast. They're very venomous. They love hiding um, and they ambush their prey. These guys live in the <laughs> desert. <laughs> ambush their prey. Nothing makes you feel more comfortable on a Tuesday morning than that. Yeah. Better than coffee to wake you up. <laughs> so you say venomous, like if they bit a human, it could be bad. Or can they not do it that? It would definitely be painful. Okay. Um, and their venom is extremely concentrated. They live in the desert where they have seconds to catch a prey and uh, consume some food. They are important um, pieces of the ecosystem. They help control everything else um, wow. as top predators in their space. Before we talk about the, you know, the dating program, <laughs> when we say they're fast, how fast? They're like, could I outrun it maybe? Uh, oh, you could outrun okay, okay. it. You have, you have the advantage of size. <laughs> you're, you're, paint, you're painting this as like an 80s horror movie, you know? I'm thinking like Tremors action happening here. But the reason we say this is because we have this box, right? We know the centipede's in here. She's got these big old, you know, <laughs> That's how they handle the centipede. But I was like, so like so fast you can't reach in and like shake it up a little? And she's like, oh no. It'll no. jump out. It's, it's fast. <laughs> and then and we venomous. really will have a horror movie happening on our <laughs> yeah. set. We don't want that. <laughs> so as you were saying, this is part of your Beyond Romance Wild exhibition at the Denver Butterfly Pavilion. I love the profiles that you guys have up. It's right here. It says something like, are you ready for a leggy adventure? <laughs> it's so great that you guys are doing this. And it's really important to talk about because as you were saying, even though this is giving us the yeah. heebie-jeebies, really important to the ecosystem. Yes, around 97% of all animals on earth are invertebrates and they literally make up the foundation of life as we know it. Um, they produce important luxuries for us like healthy soils and even they help produce the air that we breathe. So um, super important and this is where Butterfly Pavilion comes in. We dedicate our work to educating about the importance of invertebrates of course, but we also participate in research and conservation, not just in Colorado, but really around the world. And remind us, is this an exhibit that people can come check out? Yes, absolutely. So come and meet our friendly invertebrates um, a little bit better and swipe right on some exciting <laughs> bug facts. <laughs> how big, just how big is the guy in here? Like, I mean, like what are we talking? Like as big as the little, the wood piece? Um, a little bit bigger, actually. Um, and centipedes actually can range in size from being pretty tiny to um, being a foot long. And a foot long. Yeah. <laughs> they can be pretty Ooh, large. That one's fast. Yep. Yeah. yeah. No, creepy, creepy. Okay. Do we have any idea of what surprises lay await for us this uh, throughout the rest of the week? Tomorrow, do we know who our little friend is? Ooh. I don't want to spoil any surprises, but I will say that there's a lot of exciting stuff coming along. Okay, oh, okay. Boy. Good enough for us. <laughs> I'm going to stay over here. See, I had more heebie-jeebies yesterday with the Black Widow y'all brought in. This one, I'm like, I don't really know what's in there. Uh, oh, poor guy. Give him a bad reputation. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to... Thank you so much for coming in. 